Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, while I was scrolling through Facebook, I've seen this post from Endowins Gaming. It says, Breaking, Ragnarok Monster World, a Web3 strategy game will debut as its first traditional gaming IP on Ronin Network, set for release in the third quarter of this year. So first, I was really curious about the game and looked for it on the internet. I haven't found any gameplay but my only speculation is the game would be like Ragnarok Arena, an active turn-based game with a gacha system, here you can have the characters and also the monsters from the Ragnarok verse. Ragnarok Arena was released in the first quarter of 2023 and gained a lot of negative feedbacks in their first month. The developers were not able to address the issues properly and many players easily dropped the game. As you can see, up until this video is recorded, it still has a low points in the Play Store, which I do really think the game would be re-released as an NFT, just like Ragnarok Labyrinth. But that was all just my speculations. I'm still hopeful that we will get a new gameplay. The game will be handled by Sky Mavis, the parent company of Ronin, which is the blockchain behind the iconic Web3 game Axie Infinity. Now first, if you wonder, what is Web3 Game? If you search for it on Google, it says, A new way to play the video game using blockchain. It lets you truly own in-game items like cool weapons or rare characters. You can also use the loot and characters in different games that allows it, without being restricted to one game only. In my opinion, it has the same concept of RMT or the real money trading, but kind of different approach. Just like having a collection of Pokemon cards but here is virtual. In this case, monsters will be called Ragmon, and I assume there will be breeding system just like Axie. Axie Infinity started March 2018, but the player grew large around 2021 when it was hyped by the content creators and the streamers. The game reaches its peak because of NFT. People went crazy when they knew they could earn by selling SLP that you can collect from the game. Of course, not all players of Axie was really a gamer, but most of them were investors. By the spring of 2022, the bottom had fallen out of the crypto market, making playing the game nearly worthless. The value of SLP peaked at $0.34 last July 2022 and it's currently worth less than half of a penny. Now in my opinion, this won't affect the release of the game Ragnarok Monster World. Because as far as I know, there are still lots of Ragnarok fans just like me who is easily baited by the franchise. And Axie was not a bad game either. So it will still be worth trying and let's see how the game goes. I just hope the developers will listen to the community to make the game better. So what do you think about this new NFT game Ragnarok Monster World? Are you gonna try to play and invest? Kindly comment down below. Also, please help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. Until then, see you on the next one.